Thanks for joining me for another tutorial explaining our THG automation integration with Universal Robots and Fronius MIG welding equipment. Um, today we are going to discuss WireSense. Uh, WireSense is an advanced function that exists with the Fronius uh, power source and CMT torch. Right now we've got the CMT uh, weld torch, which is cold metal transfer. Uh, that's an advanced function that's capable of doing in a push-pull wire feed scenario. So there's a wire feeder in the back that feeds through the split box and then to the wire feeder here. Um, this wire feeder does some pretty fancy uh, advanced uh, functions, including the cold metal transfer process, which you can go and find some videos that discuss how that works. Um, and then uh, it also does uh, what we're gonna discuss today, which is called wire sense. So uh, wire sense, first and foremost, requires the CMT torch and it requires the additional software option in the power source, but all TPS I power sources uh, are capable of um, running the WireSense function. Uh, WireSense is a option which uh, after it determines the stick out of the wire, um, then the WireSense will tell us in our robot controller how much difference in wire length there is as it contours or goes over the top of parts or conductive uh, parts, steel, aluminum, stainless, uh, uh, different alloys. So uh, that allows us then to uh, find certain features in, um, in the weld joint so that we can uh, determine, let's say if touch sensing is not gonna work, we can use our wire sense to find an inside joint. It's also really good for uh, targeting that joint when um, there just isn't any type of like definitive feature for touch sensing to work off of. So, um, so when in a previous video, we also talked about uh, edge detection. Uh, edge detection really uses wire sense. We just call it edge tech because we're using it for a different, different function. So let's jump into it. Um, I've got this kind of odd shaped part here. Um, it's an inside corner weld, which is what we need for this current uh, installation of wire sense. And we have new uh, options coming down the road, which we'll find inside corner welds, outside corner welds. And of course we have edge detection, which we've already discussed. Uh, in a previous video, um, we'll put a link in, in the video here to, in this video to tell you where that's at. So um, we've got an air move. Uh, if you see on our screen, we've got an air move. Um, and then we've got our welds um, to execute a weld along this part. Uh, we've already got that programmed. I'm gonna hit play and show you how that looks. So if you notice, I'm gonna feed the wire out. With the Fronius, there's two things that happen. Um, when you feed the wire out um, against a conductive surface, the wire won't feed anymore. So it won't jam the wire into the metal. It just stops as soon as it gets conductivity. Um, so you can't see all that right here, but the other camera angle, which shows it right here, um, you can see what's happening. Um, so, you know, with touch sensing uh, or teach mode, what happens is the, the wire, uh, if it sees the metal, it backs up and then it feeds back out till it hits it again and it backs up and just does that really quick and you get that tick sound. So it's really awesome for keeping your wire from being bent off. Um, there's not much to it other than turning it on and off. Um, we turn it off sometimes so the fans and the, the uh, power source won't run. Uh, so right now it's quiet, but they'll kick back on. So just uh, ignore the background noise. So let's say this part, we have this, you know, we got right here, it's kind of an irregular shape. We got some straights, we got some curves, we got some kind of straight curves. So I've made a program to follow this uh, feature uh, to do an inside corner weld. Um, and so then we're gonna give the scenario that, oh, what happens if this moves? How do we find it again? You know, how are we gonna acquire that motion and the, the irregularities in the parts? Um, we'll show you how that happens and we're gonna use wire sense to do that. So. Um, let's not move the part yet, but let's just turn wire sense on. So in our start node, we have an option at the bottom. It's called enable wire sense. So we're going to hit that. And um, in wire sense, you also have to turn on this turn toggle daemon. Uh, it shows up in our toolbar. So it's that uh, far right box. And that allows us to run some background software to make that work. Um, so I'm going to hit start again. And beforehand, it just ran a weld, right? Well, now it's going to search for all those points first, and then it's going to go and weld. So what's happening is, instead of just going and welding, 
just by turning on that checkbox, the torch is now running across the joint to find out where that joint actually is. And so, you know, if you've got something that's moving around and you don't want to, it's just not going to work to use touch sensing and there's no other real method and you don't want to put cameras in to find these weld joints, you could use this function. We'll feed that wire back out so it gets right in the joint. So what it's done is it's actually taking those weld points and found the actual joint versus finding where the joint was taught to be um, uh, for that first that first pass without the touch sensor, the, weld, the wire sensor turned on. So um, you can see it's going across, um, and um, then yeah, so it, it, it works really great. Um, so we're going to move that part, and uh, we're just going to let it run again and see what happens. So we moved it, I don't know, a few millimeters. Maybe we'll talk, move it a little bit this way. Actually, it's got a little unevenness with it anyway. So uh, let's see if we can get this set down. There we go. Um, so we moved the part some, you know, a few millimeters here or there, and uh, let's press play and see what happens. If you notice, it's backing through those positions. So what happens is the the torch, because you don't know exactly what the feature is going to look like, and the, the robot doesn't know how to avoid colliding into the part, what happens is it goes backwards through all those points after it does the search. So it knows it's going to miss any obstructions. It can go around corners and then come back around. So it's really great for doing a more complex shape. Um, without worrying about trying to get back to actually execute the weld. So again, what happened when we ran this is the part was was moved, uh, wire sense came in, it scanned across where that weld seam weld joint was supposed to be. It found the actual weld joint, and then it when it's when it came back through all those points, then it welded where it actually found the joint versus versus where we had told it to find it. So the program hasn't changed. If we ran it with the wire sense shut off, it would just go through the original points and it wouldn't see where the point, the part's actually at. But in this case, it's, it's looking for it. So we'll, you know, we'll move it again. We'll turn that a little bit and let's play it again. And it's going to do the same thing. It's going to go through and it's going to try to find those points where it's supposed to weld if, and um, scan across. And this doesn't matter if it's a linear weld or a circular weld, it still, it still looks for all these points. So again, we've got our wire right in the joint after we move that part. Um, it's not the fastest way to do this, um, but if it's the only way you have, you know, versus using a camera system or something to find the joint through vision, um, this is the next best, best thing. And other than the software option, which you can purchase after the fact, all the functionality is already in the system as, as long as the CMT torch is included. So, um, yeah, reach out if you got any questions. It's a really cool feature. Um, it's uh, something that if you need it, uh, it's great to have. If you don't, don't worry about it. And um, so, yeah, as we're, we move along, we'll add more and more tools to our system so that we can best fit our customers' needs. And um, look for more videos and respond with comments in uh, the YouTube section or on our w website. Thank you very much, and uh, we'll see you soon.